Right now at 6 o'clock, I-Team sources confirming crews have found a body in the rubble after a fire destroyed this Pittsburgh apartment building and we're told that body had explosives placed around it. Neighbors reported hearing explosions before the fire broke out. We want to get right to WBZ's Louisa Moeller live in Fitchburg. Louisa? Well, Paula David, sources tell our I-Team Cheryl Fee and Doc that the cause of the blaze that destroyed this apartment building behind me was multiple explosions and that a body, as you said, was found in the rubble with multiple explosive devices around it. The fire broke out around 5.30 yesterday, lasting through the night and displacing dozens of residents, including one woman who told us she's thankful to be alive because firefighters saved her from her third-story apartment. There was an explosion I, I was a, a like a bomb Molly Benavides's Sunday dinner time was interrupted by the sounds of an explosion and the sight of her own ceiling collapsing it was just this thick black smoke um, and instantly I, I just I knew that that there I had to get out of there Adding to her shock, the door to her third floor apartment was stuck shut as smoke started building in the Fitchburg apartment building. She went to the window ledge. They were telling me not to jump. They were telling me that it, everything was going to be okay, that, um, that they're there, and um, just to stay where I was, and, and it was going to, you know, everything was going to be okay. How did it sound? It sounds like a bomb. Neighbor Carmen Santiago says that's what she heard before she saw the windows explode. There's a lady and a guy over there, and then I saw all the glass just go on top of her. And smoke stream out of the third floor of the converted school on Beekman Street. Now, again, sources tell our I team that a body was found in this building with multiple explosive devices around it. At this time, we know the Massachusetts State Police bomb squad, fire marshal's office, and ATF are all investigating. Red Cross and the Salvation Army are also involved in helping all those displaced residents. And we expect to get an update on the investigation from the Worcester County DA in just a couple of minutes. We'll certainly bring that to you. We're live in Fitchburg. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. All right.